you look very nice today. Thank I just you. wanted to tell you. you. I typically do. It's worth more than you can comprehend. Uh, so we have 50,000 here. We got 25K here. I mean, this purse is one of a kind. I don't think it's even sold in mass. Pants are about 10 grand. The boots are 12. Yeah. What are yours? I don't know. How much is your hair? Oh, natural. Are your diamonds real though? Cause like I be catching a lot of people and it's, it just seemed you, like you got that fake energy. Oh really? Cause I see like you got that broke energy. You got that broke energy. Whoa! Oh. Watch it. Are you gonna test my real diamonds or not, sweetie? Cause I really need to get to my penthouse. I don't have time for you. What? Uh, careful. I didn't even touch. Okay. Be careful. Okay. All right. Rio. All Rio. right. Cool. Go hit the other one too. Real. All right. Real. Well, now go back to your little cardboard box under the bridge, troll. Woo! Oh. <laughs> What's your biggest flex? I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but play. like, like I'm really pretty. <gasps> A lot of people just like want to talk to me. Hey. Um, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> you said she didn't want to sound cocky or anything, but that blew up in her face real quick. Hey, what her shirt say? Yeah, I bet she don't got that power. How tall are you? I'm 5'6". Six. So? 6'3 six, and above. 6'3 and above. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> By the way, 6'3 and above, that's only 1% of men, just letting that's you guys okay. know. I'm fine being single. Just this video is titled what it is for a reason. These women think that they're the ish. This woman just sat here and said that she's what, five, huh, six? And she expect for a man to be six, three and above? Like how necessary is that? When this dude told her that that's only 1% of men, which is a very extremely small margin, don't let her also want that man to be high value as far as income as well. That's an even smaller margin of men who are 6'3 and above and make six figures and above. She said she's okay with being single. She better be because that's the life she's going to end up having if she don't lower them standards down to her height. I guess I'd give myself a 10. Okay, I guess I'd give myself a 10. I'd give but you a 10, girl. I'd give okay. you a 10, too. There's some, like, I can be a little crazy. But other than that, I'm okay. a 10. I'm a 10. I'm a catch. What can I say? I guess yeah i'm a 10 too self-love <laughs> um yeah i'd say a 10 life's too short to hate yourself i ain't even gonna be mean i ain't even gonna be mean but um <laughs> all right <laughs> all these women gonna sit here at this table and claim to be tens one thing you notice is that these model women will all rate themselves as 10, right? But they'll rate a man more truthfully what they think that he really is, right? It's very rare for a man to rate a woman a 10. But these women, they rate themselves 10s all day long. <laughs> ten, 10? You don't think we're 10s? 10 100. Out of 10. 10? Confidence codes, baby. It's a little hu a bit of hubris, don't you think? Confidence is one thing, delusion though is another. What would you rate yourself? A 10. What would you rate me? Honestly, a 6. A 6? Yeah. All right. Hey guys, wait, what would you rate what this would you girl? Rate me? 7. I'm really proud of you. 7. So proud of you. 7. I don't know you yet. Hey, what would you rate your homegirl? Yeah, y'all both six two. Seven. And I'm not a seven. <laughs> I'm not a seven. You're you six. have reviews. Like that? You're a six. six? Yeah. A six? Just like I'm a five. Well, you're short. I didn't say that. Well, I said it. You said you were You maybe would yeah. be a seven if you were like a little taller. I don't care for it. Um, so this is a story just about a previous date that I've had. Um, In the end, I really want to know if I'm wrong for thinking the way that I think. So let me know. Stay tuned, please. Okay, so I get there a little early and I valet. Um, he's like a minute later than me and I see that he parks across the street instead of choosing to valet. Um, I don't really question it because you know, teach their own, whatever. 
and then we go and have our dinner. We end up ordering um, like three courses, appetizer, entree, dessert. We had wine. I was really impressed by his palate. Um, he didn't just stick to like the, the typical things. You know, he was a little adventurous in what he likes to eat. Also, it was a first date too. And he brought me flowers. I really did like that. Um, they were red and white roses. They were pretty, pretty beautiful. So we're getting ready to leave. Um, mind you, we didn't finish all of our food. So we both have leftover food um, and the flowers that he gave me. So we're walking to valet and valet is like, okay, will that be cash or card? And I'm like, card, okay. So the guy literally does not even attempt to take out his card or like reach in his pocket or anything. Mind you, I have flowers in a hand and I have my, um, leftover food in the hand too. So not only is he not even attempting to not pay for the valet, he's also like completely unbothered with the fact that my hands are full and I mean, I can't reach into my purse. So literally the valet guy is like, well, somebody gotta pay. So he takes my, fl <laughs> he takes my flowers. So I end up um, reaching in my bag and paying for the valet. Cause somebody gotta pay for it. Mind you again, while we're having dinner, you know, we're laughing and joking, everything's going so good, but I'm just so turned off that he didn't even attempt to try to pay for the ballet. And I'm really just a little taken back because I don't think I've ever had to pay for my own ballet um, coming from a date, like ever. Like that's kind of weird and it kind of turned me off. So I called my friend afterwards uh, when I got in the car and I was on my home and I was like, just kind of explained everything the way I explained everything now. And I was like, girl, like, am I tripping that I'm upset that he didn't pay for my valet or like what? Because this has never happened before. So, um, I don't know. All right, first and foremost, I gotta say this, this is my opinion. My opinion really doesn't matter, but am I the only one that felt as though she became less and less attractive the more makeup she put on? Like I said, it's my opinion and it doesn't matter. That's just how I felt. But let's get to what she was talking about. Now, she said she went on this date with this guy. Everything was going well. He paid for the date. He did everything he was supposed to. He brought her flowers. At the end of the date, her hands were too full to pay for her valet. Mind you, he parked in a different area, an area where he didn't have to pay for valet for his own vehicle. And she got upset at the fact that he did not pay for valet for her car the car that she drove there. Not like he picked her up and brought her on this date. No, she drove there to meet him on this date and she decided to park in valet, something he didn't do. The audacity, what? And she went on to say that she had had her valet paid for by other men. Those men were probably simps. And this is why I say, fellas, you got to watch what you do because you can easily create these monsters within these women. She got that sort of treatment from men before paying for her valet. So she was expecting that from this man here. And then she going to get upset that he didn't pay for her valet when he didn't park in valet himself. The modern woman. But that's it, you guys. That's all I got. But look, if you have watched five or more of my videos and you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button for your boy so that you can keep getting this great content. Leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. See you.